The vast majority of people who decide to write a book never make a dime. In fact, most of them lose money on the deal because of publishing costs, because of editing costs, and now they've just flushed six months of their life down the toilet. What if that happened to you? Well, I made this video precisely so that does not happen to you. I'm going to show you how to treat your book as a business that makes both the income and the impact that you're looking to make. And all of you creative types that are rolling your eyes at the word business and shutting down on me, stay with me because I'm going to show you how to quit your stupid job at Starbucks and have a far more fulfilling life as a writer. And yes, you have to learn a little bit about business, but it's not that painful, I promise you. Now here's most people's process when they go to write a book. Step number one, have an idea for a book to write. Step number two, actually go and write the book. Step number three, hire somebody to publish it on Amazon. Step number four, get all excited and send a free copy of the book to all your friends and family members who will then take a look at your book, tell you congratulations, read two pages, leave you a nice review on Amazon, and then put it on the bookshelf where it is to remain for the rest of eternity. And then finally, step five is to go cry in a corner somewhere because nobody ever actually read your book. So how do we escape this? Well, there are three secrets that are going to help you to escape this writer purgatory. Secret number one is to upsell. And in order to explain this, I need to talk a little bit about the economics of selling books. So let's say that your book costs $20, right? You sell your book for $20 on Amazon. Now, chances are you're going to get to keep maybe like $10 of that right after publishing costs and shipping costs and all the other stuff that and Amazon's fee everything that goes into that you're going to be able to take take home about ten dollars per book well what that means is that you can afford to spend up to ten dollars a month promoting it right whether you pay for ads or you spend money on influencers or you get yourself a PR agent get on podcasts or you know whatever you do to promote your book you can afford to spend up to ten dollars per book sale. Anything above $10 per book sale, you're going to be losing money. And you know, a lot of a lot of authors are willing to do that for a while, but frankly, it's not sustainable. Eventually, you're going to run out of money and end up crying in the corner just like the person that did the process that we talked about. So, $10 per book is is pretty crappy. It's really hard to sell anything for only $10 a unit. So, let's think about a different situation. Let's say that you're making your same $10 per book as before, but you also have a coaching program. And in your book, let's say that you talk a little bit about your coaching program and you give a link in the book for people to learn more about your coaching program and you know obviously it should be related to whatever you have in your book so let's let's be super meta here and say that you have a book about how to write a book well you could uh link to a coaching program that you have where you were personally walk through somebody in the process of writing a book and let's say that your coaching program is two thousand dollars right so two thousand dollars for the coaching program um which is i mean pretty reasonably priced as coaching programs go let's say that of the people who buy your book and all of them learn about your program your coaching program but let's say that just five percent which is pretty modest right just five percent of those people who buy the book end up enrolling in your coaching program well five percent of two thousand dollars is one hundred dollars right so now look what's happened profit per sale is now ten dollars plus $100, right? Because the average book sale nets you $100. That's that 2,000 times 5%. That means per book sale, you're getting on average $100. So you add those together. Now, all of a sudden, every book sale is worth $110 to you. So look what just happened. We managed to go from $10 profit for per book sale to 110. That is a factor of 11 times, 11 times as much money that you're now making per book. Do you think that you can promote your book a little bit better if you can now afford to spend up to $110 per book sold rather than just $10 per book sold? Absolutely. This opens up a world of possibilities that would never have been available if you're only making $10 per sale. And there's all sorts of things that you can put this money into promote, right? You can, you can advertise your book. You can do YouTube ads. You can do Facebook ads. You can do Twitter ads. You can do traditional advertising, pay Instagram influencers or YouTubers to promote your book. There's endless opportunities. And as long as the cost to promote the book is less than $110 per book sold, you are making a profit. You can scale. You can sell more and more and more books. 
So how do you do this exactly? Well, there's basically two ways to do it. Either you can talk about your, your coaching program in the book and sell the person in the book, which since the person is reading your book and getting to like you and to trust you and to see your expertise, it's, it's a pretty decent sales pitch. And then you give them a link to actually apply for the coaching program directly, or you can go the indirect route and you can give them some supplementary material, like you give them a free checklist or you have like a little mini course with videos and you give them a link to sign up for that. And when they sign up, they give you their email address. And then in that free material, you can sell them on the coaching course and or you can send them emails that will encourage them to get th to get them into the coaching course. And you can also, if you have social media, if you have YouTube, you can send emails that are driving them to those things so that they get even more and more familiar with you. They like you better. They trust you more. And eventually they'll sign up for your high ticket coaching program. So at the very, very least, you do not want to write a book without at least putting a link to some sort of lead magnet where you can capture their information. And by the way, if you're listening to this and you're thinking, well, I'm, I'm writing a novel or I'm writing a fiction book, obviously selling a coaching program probably wouldn't make as much sense, but there are ways around this, right? There are still ways that you can upsell people, right? You can sell merch, for example, you can sell t-shirts or mugs or hats or that kind of thing, or you could find partner promotions like products that the sort of people that are interested in your book would likely be interested in purchasing. And you could set it up where you get an affiliate commission every time you sell it. And so you could give people some sort of free lead magnet and then send them emails driving them to those partner products and you get a commission every time somebody buys one. So that's secret number one. Secret number two is to test your topic. Test your topic to see if people are actually interested in it in the first place. Because do you really want to spend six months of your life writing a book that you're putting your blood, sweat and tears into and then when you actually publish it, nobody's interested? Probably not. So what can you do? Well, you can write something or create something that's a lot shorter, a lot easier for you to create and then test to see if people are actually interested. So you could write an article or a series of articles or a YouTube video or a tweet thread, just anything that that's on the same topic as you're thinking of writing your book and see if it gets attention, see if it gets likes, if it gets views, if it gets engagement, if people comment on it, if people share it with their friends. And the best thing that you could do is to write a few different things, a few different articles or a few different YouTube videos on the same topic and compare the performance, see which ones actually get the most interest. And if you don't have a social media following, then you can just promote it, right? If you do something on Instagram or on Facebook, for example, you can promote it with ads and you don't have to spend very much. You can spend five or 10 bucks on each one and it will show it to some people that are not on your friends list or not on your followers list and you can see which ones they're engaging with more like which ones are getting the higher click-through rates which ones are people actually watching till the end those are clearly the ones that people are the most interested in this will save you a heck of a lot of time and heartache because if somebody is not willing to read an article that takes them 10 minutes or watch a video that takes 10 minutes then they're sure as heck not going to buy your book that's going to take 15 hours of their life so test your topic don't skip that step now secret number three is to know your numbers Know your numbers and all of you creative people are freaking out on me again because you don't like numbers and you don't like math, but I'm going to show you there's just a couple of numbers that you have to know. It's going to make your whole life a whole lot easier. So listen up. There's just a few numbers that you have to know here. Number one is cost per sale. How much do you have to spend in promotional costs, whether that's advertising or paying for influencers or whatever it is in order to get one sale? So you just take your total cost that you've spent on advertising in for your particular method of advertising divided by the number of sales. So if you spend $100 and you get two sales, that's $50 CPS, $50 cost per sale. Second number you want to know is opt-in rate opt-in rate. So of the people that buy your book, how many of them join your free email list, right? How many of them give them, give you their email address in return for whatever your free thing is? And that should be a percentage, by the way, right? So like 20% of people that buy the book sign up for the email list or 60% or whatever, right? As opposed to this cost per sale, that's going to be a dollar amount, right? Like $60 per sale, 20% um, of people opt into the free thing. Next one you want to know is upsale conversion rate. 
I'll just put UCR, upsale conversion rate. That's going to be a percentage as well. So that is, of the people who buy your book, how many of them also buy your upsell, your coaching course, or whatever you have on the back end that's more expensive? So we were using 5% earlier in our example. That would be the upsell conversion rate. And then finally, we want to know one more number, and that is our lifetime value, LTV, lifetime value. For every sale that we get, how much money do we get on average for that sale? So we were talking about earlier a lifetime value of $110, right? That's the price of the book plus the price of the course times 5%, right? Times that UCR. So that's of the, the average buyer makes us $110 total. So $110 would be our lifetime value. Now there's one equation that you really, really need to know, and that is LTV is greater than CPS, right? So lifetime value is greater than the cost per sale. If this is true, that means that your business is profitable and you are making money. You can afford to put more money into advertising, more money into promoting and ultimately scale your business, right? It's really, really important to know this because if you don't know what your LTV is and you don't know what your CPS is, then it's really, really difficult to make decisions about what's profitable in terms of promotion, right? And you want to know your your cost per sale, by the way, for each of your different advertising or promotion methods. So let's say that you're running YouTube ads and you're also doing some influencer marketing. You're paying people to promote you on Instagram, let's say. Well, you want to, your cost per sale in the YouTube ads is going to be different than your cost per sale in the, for the influencers. And so you want to know what are the numbers for each of those in order to figure out whether or not they're greater or lesser than your lifetime value. So this is by far your most important equation, like these numbers are the ones that you want to know most. And I forgot to put the little dollar sign. Lifetime value is a dollar amount. Now these ones in the middle, the opt-in rate and the upsell conversion rate, these are good to know because they'll help you figure out what you can improve in the sales process, right? So you have your book sale to your opt-in to your upsell conversion, right? And you can see which ones, like what the percentages are, and you can see if you can raise those percentages because if you raise those percentages, then that will um, maximize your LTV. So those are the three secrets to becoming a profitable writer. And just because I'm feeling super generous today, I'm gonna give you a fourth bonus secret here. And that is focus on coaching first, right? If you're doing the coaching program as an upsell, focus on getting that running first before you ever write your book. And the reason for that is because selling a coaching program is a lot less work and a lot less time than it's gonna take to write an entire book, right? So if you get that working first, it's really, really easy to add the book into the sales process later after you're already making money and you already have the concept proven because if people will pay for it for a coaching program then they'll pay for it for a book as well it shows you it gives you hard proof that people are interested in the concept and willing to pay for it so how would this look well it's pretty simple just have an ad to a webinar to your uh, coaching right so this is how I prefer to do it. Now there's more ways than this to do it, but this works really, really well for me. It makes me a lot of money uh, with or without a book. So wh the way you do it is you just run ads to a free presentation where you're going to teach them something cool, right? It could be a free presentation on how to write a book, right? So you say, hey, sign up for my free presentation on how to write a book. That's your webinar. On your webinar, you teach them some cool stuff about how to write a book. And at the end, you say, hey, do you want me to actually work one-on-one -on -one with you? Do you want me to personally walk you through the entire process of, of um, writing a book and keep you accountable, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Sign up for my coaching program, give them a link to sign up for the coaching program, and then you can make a lot of money this way, right? And if your coaching program is $2,000, it's really, really easy to make the economics work here. And if you've been following me for any length of time at all, you know that this is exactly what I do for my students. I show them how exactly to set up this whole process and actually give them my process that they can copy and paste and, and use for their business. So instead of just guessing at stuff, they're actually using my process that's already working. And then once you have that up and running, then it's really easy to just change this, cross out webinar, put book, 
right? And you have exactly the same process. You have an ad saying, hey, buy this book. They buy the book. They read about all your, inf your amazing information. They see how great your expertise is. They learn to like you. And then at the end of the book, you have a call to action saying, hey, if you'd like me to hold you by the hand to do X, Y, Z, click on this link and join my coaching program, right? So just instead of a webinar, you have an ad to book, ad to book to coaching program. Works exactly the same way. Now, you're probably wondering, how do you actually do the promotion? How do you do the advertising? Well, my favorite way is using YouTube ads, and that's a whole big separate topic in itself. So I've created another video, which you can watch right here, which will show you exactly how to set up profitable YouTube ads. So click that video. I'll see you there.